Hi friends, I'm Pastor Diana. Welcome to A Daily Devotion. I'm so glad you've chosen to uh, take a few moments out of what is probably a full day and chosen to pause and reflect and spend some time with God and with me too. Today, we are beginning a new series called Called, where over these next few weeks, we're going to explore many themes of calling. This week, we're going to be looking at what calling is like over a lifetime. The format for these devotions is going to look a little bit differently, partly because we are so excited to share with you some resources from our friends at Vibrant Faith from a devotion called Calling Now. Uh, Vibrant Faith uh, was our partner a few years ago as Florence Christian Church delved deeply into this uh, concept of calling. We were chosen as one of 24 congregations from across the nation to be part of the Creating a Culture of Call project. And so for several years, we talked deeply about calling and we wanted to continue to do that. These devotions came out of that uh, project and we wanted to share them with you today. So these are from Vibrant Faith and part of them, of them, there is a special story each day of somebody telling their calling story in their own words. If you receive our daily emails or texts, you will find them there. Uh, you'll find them on our website. And then you'll also find a link to these uh, stories in the uh, notes section on YouTube. And so I encourage you to take a few extra moments every day to listen to these stories of people in their own words. Today's story is from Evan, uh, who talks about Zacchaeus. And we love the story of Zacchaeus, don't we? Perhaps you remember it like I do, the story from Zacchaeus was a wee little man, the song. And he taught us that he was so small, he had to climb up in a tree to get a, G a sense of Jesus. Smallness, whether it comes in height like Jesus or in age like Evan in our story who was only seven, it's clearly not a problem when you can, because we all can hear Jesus' call. But friends, that's only the beginning of the story. In our scripture lesson today, we hear uh, the beginning of Jesus's, of Zacchaeus' story in Luke 19, verses 5 and 6. That says, when Jesus came to that spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay in your home today. So Zacchaeus came down, happy to welcome Jesus. So Zacchaeus does that, and he's first called into the presence of Jesus. And then he was called from the path that he was on to another one. And you know, his size was never mentioned again. It never became a theme of the rest of Zacchaeus' story. His new path became his story. In uh, Evan's story, Evan says, for Zacchaeus, it was climbing a tree to be seen. And for me, it was approaching a challenge after challenge with the eyes of my seven-year-old self, combined with a fervent resilience of my ancestors that continued to expand the dimensions of my call. Evan, too, was called small, called into the presence of Jesus at an early age. But more importantly, she was called onto a path that changed the trajectory of her life. And Evan followed that path of that call despite obstacles that she had to overcome. All the time, she was sure of the path that Jesus had called her to. Being small doesn't curtail or hinder the boundaries of our calling but determination will. We often don't think of calling, we often think of calling as something that God just drops in our laps. There's your call. Your path is made straight when Jesus calls. But you know, far from it. There are trees that block our ability to see, so we have to climb them to find the perspective that we need, just like Zacchaeus had to, and just like Evan had to. Jesus called Zacchaeus not just to dinner, but on to a new path in life. Jesus called seven-year-old Evan onto a new path in life. And Jesus calls you and me onto a new path of life each and every day. How is Jesus calling you today? Make sure to uh, listen to Evan's story and take those few moments. You, I hope you'll find these stories inspirational as everyday people share how God is calling them. I hope you have a blessed day.